Welcome to match week 37 of the Premier League where Arsenal and Man United are still battling to be runners up behind Champions Liverpool. The Gunners take on arch rivals Chelsea, but the Blues get a great start with an early goal from Pulisic. Arsenal gave a starting place to Kieran Tierney, but the Scotsman hits the post and Chelsea's response is a good shot from Mason Mount, saved by Leno. After 22 minutes, Arsenal's defense is caught by Callum Hudson-Odoi, who beats Leno in two times. This is not how Arsenal want to end their last home game, so Alexandre Lacazette finds his magic touch for goal number 14 of the season. And captain Aubameyang even wipes out Chelsea's lead before the break with an astonishing goal. Two all after 45 minutes and it's the same Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang who puts the Gunners in front after 64 minutes. What an important player he is here in North London. Chelsea don't get a single glimpse of goal anymore and are lucky to leave with a one goal difference. A great stop from Kepa is the last highlight of the match, so Arsenal put a lot of pressure on Man United. United host Brighton and Hove Albion, who are still trying to avoid relegation. Brighton need a win at Old Trafford but cannot create chances. And then Byrne helps United a hand by knocking over Anthony Martial in the box. A clear penalty, Matt Ryan versus Bruno. And it's the Australian who wins it. Ryan saves one point for the Seagulls, which could prove to be crucial. As long as Crystal Palace do not win in Liverpool, the Eagles open the score, but offside ruins their miracle. And after that, it's goalkeeper Vicente Guaita who keeps Palace in the fight with two fantastic saves. Palace come closest to a goal at Anfield, but the post ruins the miracle a second time, but still they leave with a point to remain three points above Brighton, while Liverpool are the official champions. Man City will end the season in fourth place and defeat Aston Villa with a double from Kevin De Bruyne, a last away win before they take on Arsenal at the Etihad Stadium. Leicester need two wins to claim fifth place on the condition that Chelsea do not win their last match, but the Foxes go behind against Wolves via Leander den Donker. It takes 50 minutes before Leicester reply, but they do it perfectly with a James Madison free kick. Raul Jimenez is determined to get a victory for Wolves, but Schmeichel and the post keep the Mexican from scoring, and it's Wilfred Ndidi who gets the winner for the Foxes. Football can be unfair. Sheffield United could still lose their 7th place to Tottenham. Only a win for the Blades in this match means a top 7 finish, but the inevitable Harry Kane spoils the plans. And before the break, the 2-0 final score is effect thanks to Tongi and Dombele. Spurs are two points behind Sheffield now. Southampton vs Everton is a game that has no meaning anymore. But nevertheless, it has to be played. And it's the visitors who score the only goal via Alex Iwobi. Although the man of the match for Everton is goalkeeper Jordan Pickford, who pulls off two amazing saves. Burnley are caught with their pants down in Watford, where Troy Deeney opens the score, and the Hornets are determined to end their last home game on a high. Udinese Loni Posetto puts the 2-0 on the scoreboard. Newcastle get an instant goal against Norwich City via John Joe Shelby, who puts the 1-0 past Tim Trull. Alan saint maxime heads in the 2-0 and the Magpies celebrate their great escape with a double from John Joe Shelby. 3-0 and the Magpies are definitely staying up. And finally West Ham are in very deep trouble. With 3 points less than Palace they travel to Bournemouth where Josh King puts the hammers behind. They respond with two good shots before the break. But Bowen is denied by Ramsdale and the young goalkeeper pulls off another stop as well. 
So Bowen is unable to score, but Haller does find the net. A possible lifeline for the Irons. But look what happens in the 93rd minute. Liverpool lonely, Harry Wilson puts the nail in West Ham's coffin. They need a win against Liverpool next week to possibly stay up. See you next week. Peace.